Diplomatic relations between Belize and Guatemala have at times been trying, in light of the age-old territorial dispute that is now before the International Court of Justice. Notwithstanding the existing claim, it is incumbent upon both countries to coexist harmoniously. This morning, at the OAS office in the adjacency zone, Foreign Ministers Eamon Courtney and Pedro Brolo Villa met to discuss efforts to strengthen relations between Belize and Guatemala. The efforts come amid the resulting economic hardship brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic. Through all those challenges, which continue even to today, our countries were able to work together to preserve trade, to facilitate the movement of people for urgent medical care, to collaborate on the repatriation of our respective nationals, and to cooperate in the area of health. What we have been able to do together in difficult and unusual circumstances gives me confidence that we have the willingness and readiness to work together. Our faith as neighbors is ordained by geography. Therefore, we have a duty to promote friendly and good neighborly relations and to forge a robust partnership for development. Indeed, it is a cooperation that Courtney's Guatemalan counterpart is fully on board with. In cuanto a los retos que tenemos entre países, países vecinos, países amigos, sabemos que que tenemos que, re, que enfrentarlos de manera madura y responsable con los canales de comunicación que hoy estamos solidificando y fortaleciendo. We are neighbor countries and we are friends, so we must solve them in a peaceful manner and we need to solidify them, the challenges that we are facing. Para ello coincidimos en que agradecemos el, el acompañamiento de la OEA, pero hemos solicitado también al secretario general Luis Almagro un mayor fortalecimiento en cuanto al acompañamiento y la verificación que hacen en terreno. We also have thanked the OAS for everything that they are doing, but we're also wanting to and strengthen these measures, and we have asked the Secretary General to accompany us in this. The Belize-Guatemala Joint Commission has also been reactivated, not because it was ever dormant, but because it lacked the vigor to achieve the goals that were previously outlined. We have agreed to reactivate the commission, the Joint Commission, we have named Ambassador Mai as our commissioner. We have also suggested that they should meet as soon as possible and preferably within two months. The commission was not deactivated. I wouldn't say that. I just believe that it has not been moving as aggressively as we would like. What Minister Brolo and I have committed to doing is to providing whatever resources are necessary and to have our officials continue to work assiduously and diligently on the issues. In 2014, Belize and Guatemala signed 13 agreements. Four are currently under implementation and it is our instructions to our officials that they must get moving on all. There are some formalities that are required on a few of them. Those are going to be completed. The partial scope agreement, which is a preferential trade agreement between both countries, was signed in June 2006, but did not come into effect until April 2010. Belize is now looking to expand the list of products that it can export to Guatemala under this agreement. We have put on the table an increase in the number of products that Belize wants to be covered by the partial scope agreement, and Guatemala undertook to review them and to take them back to capital for a review. And I look forward to our officials getting together to deal with those issues. We also propose to Guatemala the need to have some entity closer to Belize than Guatemala City to facilitate the issuance of permits and things like that. And the response from Minister Brolo was very positive in that regard. And again, we are looking forward to implementation. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.